This is Radio Bilingue, uh, community radio for the San Joaquin Valley. We are here for the first time broadcasting. Today we are playing music from uh, many regions of Mexico and parts of Latin America, attempting to identify the roots of the Mexican and Chicano people here in the valley. And we began with music. We began with one radio station. We didn't have a particular you know, strategic plan or anything like that, or a business plan. We just did it. I was born in Cuyotepeji, Oaxapan de Leon, Oaxaca, a very small village in La Mixteca Baja. I'm a Mixteco. When I was nine years old, we came to the United States and we came to live in a prune farm of 100 acres and it had a small labor camp and that's where I grew up. When I was 12, I had tuberculosis. I was put in a sanitarium, locked up in a room that was very, very um, different because I had never left my family before. But it was very instructional in that I was able to read a lot. There was nothing else to do. I discovered about how different my world was compared to the mainstream in the lack of information about not just Mexicans, but poor people in general. I read about Yale and the Ivy League schools, so I said, oh, that's where I want to go. I was the only Mexican-American in my class at Harvard College. Everybody there is very bright, but they were ignorant on a lot of different things, like poverty. Every summer, all through Harvard College and Harvard Law School, I worked in the fields. Harvard, uh, that's where my first uh, radio production began. I chose to do a show for the Latino community. For the essential workers, radio is the vehicle to reach and capture their voices. Music can really touch people's soul and hearts and emotions, and people will tune in because of the music. I decided my goal was to build a radio service for farm workers. This is KSJV Fresno. KSJV aquí en Fresno, Radio Bilingüe. Aquí su amigo y servidor Hugo Morales. We could choose any day to go on the air, and we chose July 4th. We wanted to impress the mainstream and ourselves that we were the guides of our own destiny. Mucha música regional de todo México. Radio Bilingüe is Chicano radio, it's Tejano radio, it's mariachi radio. Genres of music that we as Latinos get attached to. We tune in because we identify with it. But also the value of Radio Bilingüe is just reliable news. To be a trusted messenger. Now, we have 24 uh, radio stations. That's a lot of stations. We're one of the largest public radio networks in the United States. So wherever there's Latinos, uh, you will, we will get calls. Sometimes I tune in, and when I hear that music, and I say, wow, what? I have a role in this? <laughs> I met Hugo when I started here as a, as a volunteer, and uh, I've been a part of it since 1995. His legacy will be what he built. He could have gone somewhere else, but he decided to stay here in the Central Valley to empower underserved communities, the farm workers. From the beginning, we would train young people not only celebrating traditional cultures, but also integrating our youth. It's a reflection of, of our traditions, but also a reflection of our aspirations. That's the future of Radio Bilingüe. <laughs>